All right, you guys, so I just wanted to take a quick minute to touch on the energies that are coming up tomorrow that are already in effect but are really strengthening and will be facing tomorrow, right, regarding 3223 energy. Now, I've talked to you guys about this energy before, right, in my 32 versus 23 videos. We're talking about essentially the number of negative karma paired with the number of positive karma, the number of stagnancy paired with the number of shifts, the number of continuous behavior, continuous patterns, a consistent behavioral MO paired with transformative energies in that regard, a shift in that regard, right? The work that needs to be done internally in order to allow for external shifts karmically. So tomorrow, don't be surprised if you're faced with profoundly important decisions, incredibly difficult forks in the road that require thought, that require discomfort, that require a literal elevation of spirit, that require you to jump from this space to this space. Because of course you can always choose to stay where you're comfortable, but that's not what you want, is it? Because oftentimes where we're comfortable directly contradicts the providing of what we actually deserve. Love, for example, can often feel strange when you're so used to mistreatment. That's why in the previous video I did today, I touched on the importance of self-love when making any sort of spiritual decision, when trying to navigate any sort of experience karmically, right, as it relates to your own individual spiritual lessons. And those vary, right, from person to person. And it requires self-awareness. It requires becoming mindful of the things that we tend to do in a pattern, things that limit us, things that restrict us, mindsets that hold us back, the way we perceive others, the way we perceive ourselves, directly influence what we think we deserve. And we become used to something that oftentimes is not healthy. 9.23 on the clock as I'm saying this, we're talking about pulling in endings, manifesting endings intentionally in order to cultivate new beginnings closing 32 cycles in order to initiate 23 shifts. And my loves, it will be uncomfortable. You will doubt it. You will fear it. You may very well self-sabotage it. But think about those things. Reflect on those things. Pay attention to those instincts. And work on healing them. Work on healing the wounds within you that are telling you you don't deserve any better than this. Because that voice, that ego programming is lying to you, my love. So when faced with these choices tomorrow, you're going to have one foot in, one foot out. Like I described earlier. Lean into the discomfort. Choose to ascend. Choose to rise. Right? We're talking about 10 energy. Because 5 plus 5, 2 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. Total is 10. The number of a new spiritual experience. Spiritual achievement. Spiritual elevation. A level up is what we're talking about when we talk about 10 energy. And it requires work. It requires awareness. It requires choices. All right, that's all I wanted to share. <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Have a good night.